Okay, hi guys. For today's March Mobility, we're going to be doing a few moves with some plates. Um, so for this one, uh, it helps if you're at the gym. 35, 45 pound plate works really well. So, and you definitely want this to be on the heavier side because you're going to need it um, to kind of help us get into some of these movements. So the first one we're going to do is a groin and hamstring stretch. So you're going to start by spreading your legs extra wide, point those feet up to the ceiling, and then you're going to grab the plate, just kind of hug it against you, and then let that plate kind of bring you down into this forward fold. You want to make sure your toes are pointed up to the ceiling, um, but this is a really good stretch uh, in the hamstrings and the groin that you can do. And the weight of the plate kind of helps you to get down in here. So it feels really good. Back of the thighs. Oh yeah. Really nice. So try that stretch out. Another stretch we're going to do is um, uh, you can use one if you want to grab two plates for this one, but um, you can just do it one side at a time. So you're going to take one of your legs, um, fold it into you, and then you can use this plate to help kind of get a nice stretch also in the inside of the hamstrings. Um, and let me show you the double plate method. So you can take two plates, bring your uh, legs out into a butterfly position, and somehow manage to get the plates onto the edges of your knees. Yeah, and this is also a really good stretch for the inner groin, hamstrings as well. So you spend a few minutes here, uh, especially if you need that stretch and you feel something kind of a little bit tight inside those uh, abductors. And the last one thing we're going to do is a little bit of the upper back. So for this one, you are going to need a pant. Um, so you will need to get one of these. I know there's only one in the bucket, so you're going to have to share. Um, so basically what you're going to do is um, place this uh, somewhere in the upper back, uh, right along the spine. And we're going to be using the plate to help kind of push yourself down onto this peanut here. So uh, have your plate next to you nearby. You're going to lay on the back of the peanut. get the peanut kind of on either side of the spine. And then what you're going to do is right over where that peanut is, so this is over the kind of the top part of your chest, you're going to take the plate, hold it vertically, and then hug your arms around the plate, okay? So you want to expand your upper back, kind of expand that space between the shoulder blades, hug the plate, and then you're going to breathe in, and then let your upper back just kind of meld around that uh, peanut behind you. Okay, now if you want a little bit extra, you're going to lift your hips up in the air. So lifting your hips kind of gets you down a little bit more intensely into that. So take a deep breath in and then relax and let that upper back just again meld over. Let the skin just kind of droop right over that peanut. And then you can kind of move it another inch or so in a different direction. Breathe in and then let the weight of that plate just kind of sink you on top of that peanut. So this is really good for opening up that upper back area. Um, if you have a really tight upper back, this is really great. The weight of the plate here really helps to kind of dig into those areas just a little bit more. Um, I'd say don't really go down past your middle back down into your lower back area because um, that can get a little bit tender down there. So mainly keep it to the upper section of your back if you can. So hopefully you get a chance to try these few moves with the plates. And again, you want to grab a plate that's really heavy, 35, 45 pound plate if you really want that effect.